Exclusive details coming tonight on the state's new red flag gun law being used in Oneida County. A judge issued three orders to have guns taken away from people who threatened to shoot others. Our Ben Dennis reports. The state Supreme Court documents indicate two men threatened to shoot law enforcement. Another man said he wanted to take America back from immigrants in Utica. New York's red flag gun law gives judges the ability to have someone's guns taken away if they threaten to harm themselves or others. Oneida County Sheriff Robert Machel says on September 12th, his office responded to a home in the town of Western for a medical call along with fire and DMS. Actually, a, a few members of the family were home. Uh, individual at the residence uh, began to um, make some threats towards the first responding uh, deputies. That individual, 51-year-old Matthew J. Walker. Walker allegedly made verbal threats to law enforcement to, quote, fill them with lead, also threatening to take out a 911 dispatcher. This, according to the extreme risk protection order against him, which also barred him from purchasing any firearm. I believe three long guns were taken and a couple handguns. The state's red flag law allows law enforcement, school officials or family members of someone threatening to harm themselves or others to petition the court to have their guns seized. In the town of Western case, the Oneida County Sheriff's Office made that application. The Supreme Court Justice uh, obviously has the opportunity to interview the, the investigator that's there before them, look at all their paperwork, speak to anyone else that they wish to, and in this case, they issued the red flag order. Now, those three orders in Oneida County came from State Supreme Court Justice Aaron Gall. And court documents indicate that two threats were made in Utica. One threat was made against Utica police officer Amanda Machel, who happens to be Sheriff Machel's daughter. 39-year-old Joseph S. Zyla allegedly threatened to shoot her around the time Officer Machel responded to a domestic call on Mary Street September 17th. Zyla was ordered to turn over any guns, though Utica police say he had none. His red flag order also prohibited him from buying one. The third red flag order was levied on 36-year-old Anthony E. Green. Police responded to a call September 9th on Eagle Street. Court papers say they found pieces that could be assembled to create a gun. Green allegedly told an officer they were his items, and he was trying to make a rifle to defend America and take America back from the immigrants in the city of Utica. The three red flag orders expire fall 2020 and respondents have one opportunity to ask the judge to set aside any portion of the order. Reporting, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.